Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us uh, this afternoon. I am delighted to be with uh, Italian maestro Massimo Vitali, who uh, is here um, to uh, discuss his uh, new coming um, book with uh, Steidel, Entering a New World. Massimo was born in Como in 1944. He then uh, started as a photojournalist in the 60s, uh, but he doesn't really want to reveal his archive of the time at the moment. No, the, the archive is shut. Secret. <laughs> Secret, yes. And, uh, and then he, it's too he, bad. <laughs> and then he moved uh, uh, working in cinematography. And then in the early 90s, he um, came back as an artist, a uh, photographer, with um, his Beaches series that uh, brought him to international acclaim. And in fact, I would like to start with a provocative question. Um, which is also inspired by the beautiful um, exchange that you had with Valerio Spada, uh, which is published at the end of, uh, of the book, Entering a New World. Um, so, some critics um, define you as the photographer of beaches. Or, or a beach photographer. Or a beach photographer, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I prefer a beach photographer too. Uh, in fact, uh, um, it, it's a gross misrepresentation because I've never been interested in beaches, but I'm interested in humanity. And uh, for some odd reason, a lot of humans, uh, um, I find them on the beaches. <laughs> but the beach, is, uh, the beach is a place where people congregate. Uh, a beach is a, a place where is a, I would say it's especially easy pinpoint um, people and, and their life, to understand how they live and what, maybe even what they think. Um, so I started, I started on a beach and, and, I, and I kept doing beaches. I do very few beaches nowadays uh, because, because I'm more interested in who is on the beaches than, than on, on, on the ge geographic uh, place. Uh, I, I never photographed a beach without people. Um, and you also did a project with refugees, uh, if I remember. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm a photographer. I do everything. On, on the, this last book is coming out uh, in half an hour, in 20 minutes, uh, they have very few copies, so you will have to run. Maybe you, you should, should go now and get it. <laughs> Leave the talk and go now and get it. Um, so the, uh, the idea is, is the chronology of what, of, what I've, um, of what I've done in the last eight, nine years. Uh, I, I don't have books with a theme. I, I don't do... Uh, thematic storytelling. Uh, storytelling. No, storytelling. It's a word that you don't no, like. No. <laughs> storytelling never. Um, no, but but I have a certain style, and and I tr try to apply this way of taking pictures, which is a bit, uh, you know, I try to be a bit far from my subjects, but but uh, I also. Uh, somehow very em empathetic with the subjects. Uh, somebody said some, uh, something like that I'm, I'm higher, I stay higher on the people, but I don't feel like uh, I'm better than them. Uh, I'm, uh, there's no judgment. Of no, there's no judgment. No but why do you think you're so fascinated by crowds and, and the... Uh, again, you know, crowds, crowds can be six people uh, or uh, 40,000. It doesn't really matter. Um, no, I think I, I'm, you know, I, I'm really interested in uh, people's behavior. And, uh, and I try to, to understand what has changed in the last... Mm, 23 years, I think I've, I've been doing this 
these pictures for 23, 24 years, and I see what has changed. So I, I made three chronological books with Steidel. And, and if you go to in the first book, you see things that you say, oh my God, when was this? 50 years ago? No, it's only 23 years ago. Um, we, I register the changes. I register, uh, you know, the, the photography for me, it's, it's a technical thing. It, I try to do it as best as I can. Uh, I'm maniac about Technique. Composition. No, no. No? No. Composition is whatever. I don't even look into the camera. I found out the other day that I never, in the last 23 years, I never looked into the camera. I just look at the people. And the camera is here. And then I say, yeah, I'm getting from there to there, okay. But I, I, I don't look into, you know, like, normally, you take a picture, you go, like, no. How, no. what, what was the longest bef wait before you actually uh, press the shutter? It depends. Uh, now, in the last couple of years, I'm doing digital, so I don't have to wait that much. Uh, I can shoot a little bit more. I don't, I don't overshoot. I, I don't shoot, like the real photographers. I shoot moderately. Uh, Which like, is also... Like alcohol consumption, moderate. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also your approach in revealing your imagery to the world in the sense that you have always, like, never uh, published or exhibited more than a very limited amount of images uh, mm. per year or per Decade, uh, that, that I'm not sure. No, that, that in fact is, is one of the... I think I've shown too many images. Really? Yes. Okay. Compared to other photographers, uh, I, I show a lot of images. And that makes my market less, less interesting for, for some. But, but, I, but I like... I like to show enough images, let's put it this way, enough images to have, to keep my public and my, and the people that, that, that are interested in my work uh, happy uh, without making them salivate too much, waiting for the next per, uh, picture, you know. Uh, I am very try to be very present on on Instagram. I, I, yeah, that was uh, going to be my next question. You seem to have embraced technology with love, let's say. Yes. Your website is very yeah. active. You commission writers and curators to write about your work, and you publish it on your website. Exactly. You also have uh, some some funny. Pinterest uh, of all the collectors that have their, your work in their homes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, what, you what know, if if somebody wants to follow what I do, uh, they can. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. I think that just the archive. The, from the, the, the idea, apart from the mm -hmm. old uh, black and white archive from the from the, the that, that's that's invisible. You know, that's, a, that's another thing. But, <clears throat> no, I, I think that, um, in fact, I meet people who say, oh, last week you were, and they know. I say, oh, really? Uh, what? Oh, yes, of, of course, you're right. So I, people are, um, are f actually following, which is the good thing about the, the social media, in, in a way. You know, you can use social media in very different ways. Um, but I think that I, we found, uh, I, we have here also my, my social media manager uh, in, <laughs> down there. Hello. Irene mm -hmm. Panzani. And we try to, um, to make it very familiar. You know, people has to be uh, familiar with what I do, uh, how, how, I, how I live, what happens in the studio, what happens when I when, when I am on a shoot? 
you know, it's just to give some sort of familiarity. And I think this is good because I, you know, I don't like these photographers that they, they, you don't, you don't really know what they do, how they do it. If somebody takes a picture of them, they have to erase it. For, you know, it's, that's that's a bit too much. No, I I try to be, you know, but like like in life, you know, I try to be friendly with people I meet and uh, and friendly also with people that I don't that I don't know. Uh, I have this the same empathetic. Uh, that I have with the people that I portrait in my pictures. Yeah. And uh, in your long-term collaboration with Steido, uh, in for, for all uh, the books that you've made uh, uh, with him, uh, how, like, how do you work in, in, in terms of uh, sequencing, editing? Uh, what's your strategy, let's say, in bookmaking? I have, I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not a... You're not the editor of your work. Yes, in a way, because but but I'm not. I'm not a book maker. Ma no, I'm not a book geek. I don't. I didn't really care about books. I, I do. Ooh, them that's a, uh, that's sorry. a strong <laughs> statement. <laughs> yeah, this, this is this is the, the reality. You know, um, first of all. Um, Photos are one thing, and, and, and the image that you see on a book, it's a totally different thing. Yeah. My photos are um, normally uh, uh, 185 by 245, uh, so they're big, they're heavy, uh, they're, they're a, a big object, they're, uh, you need two people to carry them, you know. In a book, it's a piece of paper. You go like this. It must, there must be a difference, you know. And obviously, you will never be able to see on a book page what you can see on a real picture. My, my pictures are not pieces of paper, are heavy objects. Plastic, wood, pa photographic paper, uh, whatever. It's, it's a... It's a, a, a a lot of stuff that it's in there and they're big and 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 they have to be and when you see one of my pictures you can see it from the distance you can go near you can appreciate all the detail um, something that you cannot do in a book in a book you have a vague idea of, of so i'm not so crazy about books this is, I can say this. You and know. so, but then why you make them? Why not then opt I for a radical? Them, I make them book because list. I make them because there has to be a, 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 an easy um, testimony of what I've been doing. Okay. In fact, really, my only books are about the chronology of the pictures that I've taken in the last 23 years. There are now three books out. Uh, they, I think two are sold out, but uh, this new one coming out. So it's from 97, I think, 90, no, 94. 94 yeah. From 94 to 2018. Yeah. So mo more or less, uh, I did it, an edit based on, I don't know, we, we sit in the studio. So you collaborate with other people. Yeah, we sit in the studio and say, oh, no, this I don't like. Why don't we put, oh, no, no, no. You know, it's... It's a discussion. It's, it's a, there is a discussion, then you, you go home, you show your, your edit, you know, it's, uh, then somebody comes up, oh, why don't you put that picture? You know, it's a discussion like this. Uh, and and uh, the, the beautiful thing is that Steidl never, uh, he never interfered in, in, uh, in the decision. In, a, in, in any decision. He, he, you give them a picture and he prints the book. Then maybe after the book is printing, he has a look at it. And I was just thinking about something the other day. There are publishers that. Um, 
that publish very nice books, very selected uh, photographers, very selected works. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> it's boring. It's terrible. It's like, you know, I know what is good, and you, idiot, take this and, you know, you're just buying. You find it patronizing. Just, yeah, I've totally patronizing. With Tidal, you don't have the, this, the patronizing is, is not there. Um, I think this book that is coming out now, I think is, he has seen it after it was printed, really. Okay. And he didn't really understand what I was doing. But then I know that he, he was talking with a friend of mine. He said, oh, but that book of Vitali is not so bad, you know. <laughs> there, there is something, there is something, it's not just the chronology. There is also something more. In the, oh, good. good. <laughs> I was really happy, but uh, really happy because anyway, he does hundreds of books a year. So he has, he has quite a... It's nice to have his approval. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what about the title, Entering a New entering World? Entering a New World, Entering a New World is... Uh, I always come up with this uh, stupid title. So, Entering a New World mm -hmm. is, is just because at one point of the book I stopped working with a large format uh, film and I started working with the medium format uh, digital. Uh, and so there is... It's, and was it, it traumatic it, as an experience? No. Uh, there are other things that are traumatic. I mean, okay. I don't, so you're not nostalgic. <laughs> Photography is not traumatic, you know, like... Uh, like I always say to... This is not a hospital, it's just photography, you know. It's <laughs> nothing... Nothing, nobody gets hurt, you know, it's, it's fine, it's photography. Okay, I would like to ask the public if they have any questions. Uh, I have this horrible role of uh, keeping the time uh, like a Perfect. military. Perfect, uh, Yes. I, I did black and white photography. I, I, okay. Je la pose en français pour la traduction. Bonjour. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous en dire un tout petit peu plus sur les backstage de la photographie, justement, sur comment vous faites les photographies, si vous avez un assistant, plein d'assistants, du lighting, parce que ça, en fait, on oui, voit yeah. un tout petit peu sur Instagram, mais on ne voit pas beaucoup. I, I have... Merci. Uh, 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 I, should, I should be more explicit. <laughs> um, uh, no, of course, we, we have uh, a number of assistants, yes. Um, and I, I have to somehow position it myself. I have my choice of height that I work. Um, and, um, and I have two, three assistants normally uh, in my shoots. Um, I have uh, a scaffolding made of carbon fiber with a platform on top where I put my tripods, uh, or sometime I put the top of the scaffolding on top of my van. Uh, it depends. And, and, and sometimes I just uh, have no possibility. I just have a, a tall tripod, like 2 meters 50, and a ladder. Uh, you know, it, it, Photography is also about coping with reality. You, 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 cannot, you cannot always have the ideal situation. Sometimes I, I know very well what the ideal situation would be, but, but you do what, like two weeks ago, no, no, a week ago, I was shooting in Luca and there, were, uh, there was a thing, there were so many people that I couldn't, bring anything. I could only bring my, a tripod and a, and a ladder. So I went onto a tripod and a ladder. I was a bit lower than what I wanted. Okay. 
you know, photography is also about uh, adapting, adapting, making do what uh, you know, and sometimes, and sometimes you maybe you find you find a rock, you find a high place, you find a good place where to uh, where to stay. But anyway, assistants are important because especially now with digital I need to I I I only again I never look at in the camera especially because it's it's a digital back but I never look on, in the back it's too small and it's stupid and and I look in down there there's always somebody on the computer so I they show me on the computer then I said okay well maybe be I I move a little bit, and um, so no, I I do need uh, people. It's 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 not um, that I go out and one day and I decide. No, uh, normally when I go and take pictures, I know exactly what I want to photograph, and some most of the time also <laughs> where I want it, where I want to put my camera. Okay. I'm really sorry we have to uh, stop, but thank you ever so much for being with us and, and thank you for your question. Hi.